a man has been charged over the June shooting of a former bikie in Melbourne, but the two gunmen alleged to be behind the drive-by fled the country less than 48 hours after the incident, police believe. Police have announced they are working to extradite the two men following the arrest of six others in Melbourne's northern suburbs this morning over the shooting. Detective Inspector Mark Hott said police believe the six people had all played some role in the attack, in which former Mongol spikey Sam Abdul Rahim was shot in the chest four times as he was leaving a funeral in Faulkner in his Mercedes on Saturday, June 25. Read more, moment of boredom behind six-figure business police have charged a 18-year-old debbing man with attempted murder, non-prohibited person possess firearm, theft of motor vehicle and drive while suspended. The other men aged 18 to 24, had been interviewed by police and released pending further inquiries. The arrests come just days after police released CCTV of a black Ford Focus they wanted to track down, believing it to be connected to the shooters, and after two months of police investigating the incident. However, Detective Inspector Marcotte has said the investigation is far from over. He said the two gunmen who were in the car that fired the shots at Abdul Rahim had fled Australia within 48 hours of the attack. The both left in quite a hurry, he said. Inspector Hot said detectives were working for partner agencies to extradite the men to Victoria. We know who they are, we know where they are, and we will be bringing that back in due course, he said. Inspector Hot said the Ford Focus that police called for help to identify last week had still not been located, with the investigations continuing. I know this shooting and subsequent carjacking caused significant community concern, as is often the case when we see incidents of significant violence play out so publicly, he said. I want to assure people that police are doing everything we can to hold all of those involved in this incident to account, no matter what role they may have played. We're also working in conjunction with the Viper Task Force to do everything we can to prevent any kind of retaliatory action arising from this. Abdul Rahim, 30, was driving alone on Box Forest Road when he was shot by men traveling in a Mazda SUV about 12 p.m. The driver of Mazda SUV then tried to flee the area, but crashed into a fire hydrant and pulled further along Box Forest Road, near Sydney Road. The two men ran from the vehicle, one fled on foot and attempted to hide in a bin of a KFC restaurant on Sydney Road in Faulkner. A second man carjacked a Ford Territory wagon from a woman and child, before driving it to Epping, where he was captured on CCTV walking the streets. The stolen vehicle was later located in Brunswick Drive, Epping around 10 p.m. The carjacking victims, a woman and child, were not physically injured during the incident. Abdul Rahim managed to drive himself to Faulkner Police Station with the gunshot wounds before he was taken to hospital in a critical condition. Police also released CCTV images of men they wanted to speak to over the incident earlier this month. Police have said they still want to hear from anyone who might have any information on the men in these images or the vehicle.